Hey everyone, Andy here, uh, back again with another part of our Anatomy of a DIT card series. In this section, I want to talk about scopes, as in waveform and vector scopes, image analysis tools that you really need to have on your DIT card. Uh, scope is really required on every digital production today, of course, uh, so we better have a good one here on our card. I want to go over a couple of options, both uh, software and hardware options available out there that I really do like. Uh, we'll start with the uh, software option, uh, which in this case is called Scopebox. Scopebox is a $100 program, very inexpensive, that works with any kind of I.O. hardware, AJA, Blackmagic, etc., uh, to get my scope on my screen here. Uh, there's a lot of software scopes out there in, in LEs and in color grading applications, but I like the standalone app because uh, not only it lets you see the picture and, uh, and a waveform and a vector, but you can set up multiple different windows all at once. Uh, different scales, make it full screen if you want to. Uh, you can also uh, apply a lookup table to the, uh, to the picture and even grab a still. It's just a very handy tool and very affordable. So Scopebox uh, is a great tool to check out. Uh, hardware scope wise, and you should have a hardware scope in my opinion, uh, check out this uh, Smart uh, Scope Duo from Blackmagic. Uh, it's kind of a rack mounted sort of studio solution, but I like it because uh, this is designed to either have a display on both of these or a scope on both of these if I want to. And the scope can be a RGB parade, waveform, traditional Y based Y only waveform, vector scope, etc. Uh, and I can put that on either, either, either display as I want. And it's nice to have that sort of permanent, permanent installed scope on my card if I want it. Uh, now you notice there's no actual buttons on this display. The only way to change anything is to log in via USB or Ethernet uh, through software on the computer and change it up. A little annoying, but uh, I do like having it if you can get it there for just even confidence of your alternate camera angles when you're looking at a main camera here in a multicam shoot. So a nice option. Uh, here is a, a very popular scope type, which is from Leader. This is the 5380. Uh, very popular also is the 5330 from Leader. Uh, these leader scopes are, well, industry standard. Uh, leader has uh, great image analysis tools across the board. Uh, they're, they're, they're small guys here, the 5380 and the 5330, offer tons of options. Of course, waveform, vector scope, audio analysis tools, and just da and tools down to line level, uh, gamut error, pixel an analysis, just really deep tools, which I think uh, the more you get into this, the more you're just going to love a, a, uh, a leader scope. Uh, I, I know I, I really do appreciate what they can do. Uh, so if, you're in, if, you, if you want a standalone scope that's uh, battery powered, you can run around with it, uh, then, then this could be the guy for you. Uh, you know, I really do like having a scope that I can remove from my cart quickly with the battery because you, know, you can't always bring your cart everywhere you go. So uh, an important option. And then finally, I want to show you a scope that's maybe not as traditional, but one I really do like now, which is something you might have seen before, which is the uh, Odyssey 7Q from Convergent Design. Uh, the Odyssey and all the flavors, 7, 7Q, 7Q+, Plus, has uh, the ability to be a monitor and be a recorder. The 7Q, 7Q+, Plus can record up to 4K in RAW and ProRes. Uh, but also, it's also a great scope. Uh, it has built into it a uh, waveform, a uh, histogram, uh, uh, false color modes in it, as well as a really great focus enhancement tools as well. Uh, just a really nice full featured tool. Uh, and, 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 and also it's a recorder and a monitor. So I, I actually like it. Some DITs they know I've been picking it up. They're going to add some more features as they go. They know people like it for this reason. So uh, I, I've been really happy with that. And there's one unique feature that uh, you can find in this, which you don't really find in most other scopes, in that if you take the output of it, like I'm plugging it in there, I'm going to attach it to here. Uh, I can actually uh, uh, turn on the scopes on the output as well. So there it is on the big screen there. So I can kind of use it as a rasterizer, which is what they call a sort of standalone scope. Uh, so that's a nice option, very rare actually, uh, false color generator. So I, I really do like this feature as well. Um, so that's a rare thing actually. Uh, so those are your scope options. There's many more, of course, uh, many built into monitors, uh, many built into uh, you know, other tools, software tools, etc. Uh, Sony, TV Logic, Flanders, they all have great ones. I really do like these standalone options for my card if I can have it. Uh, so just choose the tool that's right for you, of course, and I hope this is very useful in getting an idea of the sort of spectrum of options out there. So that's it for now in this section. I'll see you in the next one.